You're getting quite a collection now, actually. I made a cravat from one, I'm figuring out what I can make with the other. I've got a fancy! You alright, Trickle? You look pretty nice in those. I uh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my best to impress you. It's working, don't worry. I'm not watching you behind this podium again. <laughs> Stay there for a few minutes until I go down. Yeah, I will do. <laughs> okay, we're just uh, we're gonna have an next act, and we're gonna have a little uh, not intermission, but a little break, just because uh, we're getting through this quite quickly. Although I'm sure you're uh, quite. Which, which way does this go on? It's. Do you, do you need some help with those? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, what was the pan? No. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> That was just interesting. I don't know about you guys, but I was just fascinated for a moment of man's utter confusion this, over this, like this. This will be the end session, by the way. <laughs> just him rotating hands. It's physics. Okay, we have one more entry, and then we have a little, little break. Um, he's had great reviews across the internet, such as tell a fucking anime joke for once. Oh. <laughs> This has no grip. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be a feebass, but um, I ended up borrowing my fat friend's magic art suit. <laughs> yeah, and it turns out he's been raving in it like three times and hasn't washed it. <laughs> yeah, this thing smells like a cross between a grease fire and a broken home. <laughs> it, is, it is foul, although Matt, in case you're interested, I'm only wearing pants under it. You can have them if you like. <laughs> One second. Perfect. Oh. Where's the zip code? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but I've had my penis out on stage before. No! God no this! Yes! <laughs> <sighs> right, they say you can tell a lot about a man by the questions his friends ask him. If they ask him about movies, he obviously has a good eye for the world. Literature, he's knowledgeable. Um, the famous quote, uh, a house without, I'm oh, sorry, a mind without books is like a house without windows. The kinds of person I ask at conventions, um, like last Ame, was my phone rang. I pick it up, and I hear, uh, well, me, do you know how to break into a car? <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> what you do is you get a large burly man with tools to bend the door off of its hinges, and then you, like, kind of jab the lock. If you don't have a large burly man, <laughs> if you can't get large burly men at an anime convention... I tried! <laughs> yes, so yes, um, I'm doing a bit of a public service announcement, because this is my last performance for a good long while. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I am speaking out against um, an epidemic that our community is suffering. I am, of course, talking about the butt hurt. The butt hurt. When something happens at a convention, such as what I witnessed on Friday, where um, one of our good photographers, Pouncy down the front, was dressed as Phoenix, and the number of guys I saw going, mm. <laughs> and then as he turned round, went, ah! And you could just see them fucking storming to 4 chat. I'm going to post about this. <laughs> Men should not dress as women, where I can look at their bottoms and think they are women. <laughs> Worst convention ever. <laughs> Yes. The reason why I'm talking out against Butler is I am known to rant. I am known to rant. It is basically my shtick. But I do it as Molly on the stage. In front of in front Molly. Oh god, this thing is huge! But yes, I do it as Molly. I do it in front of the stage, I do it with my face out of the open. Uh, picked our chat and uh, for chat. Slight problem there. It's amazingly easy to be a big hard band on the internet. 
So um, to all of my fellow performers and all of those people who have been on stage before and suffered the wrath of the inevitable cosplay threat, which I have no doubt will smack me, smack talk about me again, uh, follow along if you know the words. You are welcome to talk all of the smack you like about me. I mean, I am not a difficult target. I'm deformed, I, I am a terrible, terrible person. I'm blunt, I'm rude. Hell, I smell like death most of the time. It's not hard. Right? No, you love me. They tolerate me. But yes. Although I know I just did a bit of a rant and was dickish, uh, I give you all hope for the future because ultimately the anime community needs a future because the Lord knows we ain't gonna breed. <laughs> well, I might, that's what daycare's for. Hurt, <laughs> hurt. <laughs> okay, that one hurt on the inside, I apologise, I apologise. Um, but yes, those of you who may have seen my first performance of KitCon, yeah. <laughs> of a certain girl, uh, I'm quite a fan of, called Becky. Oh, no. Who, um, she uttered the famous line of, Becky, look, it's the moon in the sky, even though it's daytime. And the little three, four-year-old dog looked up and went, that's the moon. That's a backing station. <laughs> yeah, which gets endlessly fucking misquoted, by the way. But yes, um, so, I went to visit her. I am her fake Uncle Molly, and she calls me fake Uncle Molly. <laughs> Thank you. And um, I did the usual uncle thing, I gave her gifts her parents would hate. So, here's a Nerf gun that fires darts hard enough to break the skin. <laughs> and here's a My Little Pony from a series that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> hey, are you living munchkin? <laughs> and so I started talking with her, and she's doing her usual thing, telling me about school and blah blah blah. And then she goes, oh, 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 I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling. So yes, there is hope for the future, folks. I may not have said this enough, but from Kitter 2 onwards, and it could have potentially been last year, but eh, um, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you, anime fans, for being an amazing audience, and I look forward to someone taking my place and giving me a challenge. Good night. Can I have it when you're done? <laughs>